Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So I just finished drinking the Joker IPA from Williams Brothers. So I thought I would move on to the Double Joker IPA from Williams Brothers. So this is their double version of that. So it's 8.3%. It says on the back here, how do you improve on a Stone Cold Classic? Double it up, of course. Duh, doesn't say duh. Bittersweet with a big US hot punch. Double Joker is the bigger, stronger brother of our legendary Joker IPA. A bold Scottish style imperial IPA, generously hopped and devilishly flavoursome. So yeah, let's get on to it, shall we? As we said, I just reviewed that one. If you missed that video, enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to. So let's jump in to the Double Joker, shall we? So this is part of um, Lidl's latest beer festival that they have from time to time. I have a little right near me. I was getting some milk and I picked this up as well. It's really the, these two are the only ones I picked up from the bunch. The other ones I weren't particularly worried about, but I, I, I was intrigued to try this one. So let's chuck it into a glass and see what we get. We have an amber coloured beer. That's an off-white head, I'd call that but nice and sort of velvety and smooth. Looks pretty good, quite a lot of carbonation there. Running up the glass. But let's go for a little sniff, shall we? Hmm. A big rush of like butterscotch and toffee. Almost a bit of like a, a, a toffee apple vibe. Interesting. Yeah, marmalade on sort of brown, brown toast. Yeah, as we said, marmalade maybe mixed with a little bit of butter as well. Not quite full on diacetyl, but a little bit of that coming through. Mm, yeah, it smells... It smells okay, not the most appealing smell I've ever... I've ever come across. There is a little bit of a... a rattiness to it. A little bit of a dankness in... in not in the weed way, in the actually dank way. Like a dank basement. I must say the uh, the sort of Joker IPA had a lot more of a vibrant sort of hot quality to it. This one's giving me sort of strong ale vibes, really. But let's go for a taste. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Hmm. 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 What this is reminding me of predominantly is when we used to get sort of like really old bottles of like a stone double IPA which is sort of which has seen better days perfectly drinkable but just not uh, sort of punching at its full capacity and this is what this is reminding me of really it's it, it's not quite hitting the heights there, there's there's a caramel malt quality to it the hops really aren't singing for me on this one again it's sort of giving me sort of like a uh, uh, like a like a hoppier strong ale sort of vibe than like full-on double ipa like full-on classic west coast double ipa there is a tingling bit in this which is building which is quite nice for me it's a sweet malt character <laughs> like a digestive biscuit marmalade on toast the slightest sort of hint of grapefruit a little bit of an alcohol warmth going down. The mouthfeel was, was quite nice, but got that sort of bit of that sort of slick, oily vibe. I mean, again, it's not it's not bad beer. Uh, quite easy, quite easy drinking, really, for eight point three. Under two quid, so you can't complain that much. But it, it's just not sort of giving me a punch in the gut. Yeah, it is. It is sort of reminding me of a of a stone IPA that's been on a a warm bottle shop shelf for like eight months or whatever. But I'm still gonna finish it. I, I fin when, when I used to drink those stone beers that were like eight months old, I finished those, I'm gonna finish this. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Like I said, it's not bad. Definitely pick it up if you find yourself in a little. It was under two quid. I can't remember exactly what it was. One pound 79, maybe. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Double Joker, Double IPA, 
from Williams Brothers Brewing. I've been Jake, and remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.